you want to do a, a standards-based analysis of any kind of video comparison, there are standards for that. And, that, and that's, absolute, that's the gold standard, right? I mean, that's you bring people in a room, you sit them a certain distance from a TV, you use side-by-side -side TVs, you use triple-blind studies. So all that's very specified if you want to do that. It's also very time-consuming, very expensive. All you want to know is which key frame interval to use. So that's kind of the standards base. And then the, the informal is the golden eye. And the golden eye you know, is kind of what I used to do. You'll see an example of that, where you kind of like stare at the video side by side. But what got me into the objective quality side was, I think it was three summers ago, I had a consulting agreement to help a company choose an HEBC codec. So we set up the test grid, and it was, it was going to be something like 180 different comparisons. And if you have 180 different comparisons, you can't, you can't do this. And you can't even really do this, not, not on any kind of time efficient or even reasonably effective basis. So that's when I started using objective quality uh, metrics. And, and what we're doing is this is the best. This is kind of the second best, although it's pretty cumbersome. This is the third best. And this is, so, so if you look at a, a model like here, like PSNR or SSIM, these are, these are pretty much tuned to understand the, the differences between the source and the compressed file. So what they do is they, you know, here's a source file, here's the compressed file. What are the differences? And differences, you add up the differences, you run some math on it, and that produces a score. The problem is a lot of times those differences aren't things that people can see. And, and, and a great example of that is, you know, um, attention-focused <laughs> compression. So imagine you had a, you had a big frame, and, and I'm in the frame, and one one compression technology was able to say, hey, all we care about is what's going on in the center, so we're going to blur everything else. And another technology said, no, 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 we've got to keep everything sharp. So the math-based, you know, pure math-based, with no perceptual quality portion, would say the attention-weighted portion was bad because all the background was, was different than the, you know, than the original. But really, if you, if you include perceptual quality analyzer, if you look at the perceived quality by the viewer, you would say, well, that approach is better because that's all the, pre the people are seeing. So these are all math-based. And then the higher quality um, analysis tools like VMAP from Netflix and SimPlus and, and some of the others are, are um, they, they include a level of perceptual quality analysis. They say, okay, this is how people subjectively compare these types of videos, so we're going to include that in, in the formula.